Women that are hyper successful, men say they like hyper successful women and they like independent women. But what independent women find is when we become like more financially stable, men don't give us the same investment. Whereas if we're a bum and don't have a job, they actually invest in us more. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's true? I think so. This yeah. is a question which I wanted to ask you mm. is if you find, if you have a, a man who's very masculine yeah, and they are together with a woman who has a lot of masculine traits, yeah. like they're very alpha, mm. very independent, don't mm. need a man, whatever. Do you think they can date? Because my experience of dating these alpha women yeah. doesn't end well. No, we clash. it doesn't end well. But here's the reason I would say, because a lot of people say, oh, you know, when women earn more than men, they're more likely to divorce them and more likely to end it. But the rea reality is the reason why they're more likely to end it is because men take their foot off the pedal when the woman is in, uh, financially stable. But that same man will meet a, a, a woman who's unemployed, uh, sits at home and watches TikTok all day and give her an allowance mm. and support her and take her dinner and do all of these things. But that woman who's hustling and working hard, he doesn't even like... Uh, I think to grab a, a, her lunch. But, so that's why she gets resentful that I'm working hard and because I'm working hard, you're investing less. Mm -hmm. When really we should be rewarding the hard work because they still like to be yeah. looked after. It's well, not a financial thing. For me, because of the way I'm wired, mm -hmm. I just would not allow that to be the case. Yeah. If she's super successful, she's making loads of money, yeah. I'd be like, I, like, there's no way yeah. that she could be outdoing me. Like, I have to be outdoing yeah. her. Yeah. Which is why I've noticed when I've been in a relationship with someone who was super smart and they're, they're making a lot of money, and yeah. if anything, they're probably more intelligent than me. Yeah. Maybe like, I know more about certain topics than she does, but mm -hmm. she's overall a really smart girl. Yeah. I find that really motivating and oh, it actually it really encourages me to level up yeah i remember as i think this was 2021 i was dating someone and she was extremely smart and she yeah. was kind of she's uh she, she's a, a healer right. so she's very much into psychology oh, okay but very smart yeah very well read and being with her really encouraged me to level up okay because i wanted to impress her that's good but the thing is but I, I, I know a lot of guys will probably feel but inferior. It might inspire a man, but it doesn't inspire him to invest in her. And women still seek investment. What happens is as the woman gets more successful, I know it sounds stupid because you're like, you can do it yourself. They end up feeling like no one's looking after them. Mm -hmm. And what happens is I, I always say to women, just be a damsel in distress. Always be a damsel in distress because when you show a man you're independent, he treats you like you're independent. And she, then they lose that dynamic of like being looked after. So if you want that feminine masculine dynamic, you almost have to be the damsel in distress because men do take the foot off the pedal when they know that you are financially stable. Mm -hmm. They let you do it yourself. But they with another woman who's not so smart and not so successful, they do everything for. So women feel like they're almost short shortchanged when they become successful I, from, in my experience. Hi guys, don't forget to join my Patreon where not only will you get exclusive information and videos every single week, but not only that, you can ask me a question anytime and there's no limit to how many questions you can ask. So just subscribe, just click the link below. Okay. So speaking of dating, how do you know if you've been friend zoned or not? Um, the response responsiveness from women. Mm -hmm. This is all it boils down to. If you are trying to contact a woman and you're getting delayed response and busy scheduling, she's not interested. It's really that simple. When a woman likes you, she will cancel plans. She cancels plans. She responds immediately. She becomes available. When she doesn't really like you that much, she's unavailable. It's mm -hmm. really that simple. She And um, I always think you as a man, friend zone yourself. People can friend zone themselves or they don't. How you friend zone yourself is by not making your intentions clear. Mm -hmm. There are men that I'm friends with but are still not in my friend zone because they'll always make a flirty comment. They'll always remind me that they're interested in some way. <laughs> shape. And I'm like, I'm trying to put you in the friend zone and you keep coming out of it. They remind, So I can't put them well, in the friend zone. Do you think men and women could be friends? Yeah, I do. But it takes a level you, of, uh, <laughs> like both of them have to not be attracted to each other.
Yeah, and I think you miss out on life when you aren't friends with the opposite sex. You miss out on so much in life mm. because there's so many times where you might be fighting with your partner and you talk to your female friend and she's like, I can't believe you said that to you. Blah, blah, blah. And you talk to your male friend and you're like, don't be stupid. You know what that means? He's just a bit tired, blah, blah, blah. And they give you so much free game. Mm -hmm. They give you so much free advice. All of my videos, a lot of people will be like, how do you understand the male brain so well? A lot of the time it's because I'll call a male friend and they'll tell me this is what it means when your man is doing this. This is what it means when he does that they tell you everything do you think if they had the opportunity they would absolutely <laughs> they're not blind <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they'll do it but they're mm. not going to have the opportunity yeah. yeah they're not going to it's not about would they it's the could they mm -hmm. if there's no could then they can't yeah see this is this is a big problem i've had in mm. a lot of my relationships yeah it's being having other female friends mm -hmm. because it has tended to be the case that they've they've been attracted not not well, I don't know if they're interested or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are, mm -hmm. but they've been attractive. All right. That's a problem. Okay. So I, I can actually be friends with an attractive, attractive woman. woman. Yeah. Because I have discipline. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel the need to sleep yeah. with every single attractive woman I yeah. see. If I did, I wouldn't get anything done. Yeah. So I have... I have these female friends and I want to continue mm -hmm. having those relationships with them, usually because they're very intelligent. Yeah. And just spending time with them, I I learn a lot mm -hmm. or they're just very, they're very good contact to have. Yeah, they're amazing. But I have had so many arguments about this mm. because they, they don't believe me. But you know what? I think that like you, like I said, you gain so much. And I think that men that don't have female friends, they hypersexualize women. They get nervous around women. They think women are this really strange enigma. They lose their ability to have charm around women. But when you have lots of female friends, you realize they're flawed. You realize they're stupid. You realize like what makes, they, it removes their mystery. So mm. I think men that never have female friends and women that never have male friends, they get overexcited when they're around the opposite its agenda. Whereas when you've always had male or female friends, you recognize it's just a person. Whereas when you don't, you think it's a potential sexual contact and you get too excited. I think it's actually a bad thing if they have no male or no female friends, because then they tend to get too excited around the opposite gender. In my so let's, scenario, we're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Would you let me have hot friends? No. <laughs> that, just, that goes know, against your point though I know I know depends how hot <laughs> <laughs> like, I, um, I, I don't mind I know to be fair I wouldn't mind too much but if she posts a lot of hot stuff I would rather you not see your female mm. friend's naked body let's say for yeah. example she's in the fitness industry right well respected in the fitness industry yeah we go to work out together yeah thoughts um in that scenario if it feels like mm, and she's hot mm. Mm, really hot yeah no Great you're body. not doing that you just change the body's job. unbelievable yeah no why are you adding <laughs> insult, insult to injury no no you're definitely not allowed no no it's just not appropriate okay there's boundaries so I can't, I can't have any there's, friends. there's boundaries to friendships Mm -hmm. There's boundaries to everything in We're a friendship. We're just working out. Um, but there's boundaries to that. Because I, I know when you're working out, and I've had male and female <laughs> personal trainers, personal trainers, working out with them is not a good look. Because yeah. working out is, it's, it's not it's the right touching. boundaries. It's not the right, but friendships comes with boundaries. Mm. I, and the reason why I would allow my um, uh, partner to have female friends is if he understood the boundaries without me saying them. Whereas if there's female or male friends where you have to teach them the boundaries, then, then it's a problem. But it's mm. harder in your industry. It's really hard in your industry. 